Christ, the mediator of the new covenant, has an eternal priesthood because he remains forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. So today is the feast of our Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal high priest. So we pray for all priests today. Pray for our bishop especially, and of course all the priests of the diocese, asking the Lord to help us all to follow the teachings of Christ to the best of our abilities. We pause for a moment ourselves and ask the Lord to help us to be true followers of Jesus as we prepare now to celebrate these sacred mysteries. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you shared your priesthood with each and every one of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your majesty and the salvation of the human race made your only begotten Son, the eternal High Priest, Grant that, through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, those whom he has chosen as ministers and stewards of his mysteries may be found faithful in carrying out the ministry they have received. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the reign of you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. See, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. But not a covenant like the one I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. They broke that covenant of mine. So I had to show them who was master. It is the Lord who speaks. No, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel when those days arrive. It is the Lord who speaks. Deep within them, I will plant my law, writing it on their hearts. Then I will be their God, and they shall be my people. There will be no further need for neighbor to try to teach neighbor or brother to say to brother, learn to know the Lord. No, they will all know me, the least no less than the greatest. It is the Lord who speaks, since I will forgive their iniquity and never call their sin to mind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord's revelation to my master, 
sit on my right. I will put your foes beneath your feet. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord will send from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the daybreak, I begot you. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. Please stand. <coughs> Alleluia. Since he was a son, he learned obedience through those things which he suffered. And having been made perfect, he has become for all who obey him the author of eternal salvation. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread, and when he had said the blessing, he broke it and gave it to them. Take it, he said. This is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had returned thanks, he gave it to them, and all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood, the blood of the covenant which is to be poured out for many. I tell you solemnly, I shall not drink any more wine until the day I drink the new wine in the kingdom of God. And after the psalms had been sung, they left for the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm actually going to read something from Pius the Twelfth, and I forgot to bring the iPad over. Christ, priest, and victim. Christ is a priest indeed. <clears throat> However, he's a priest not for himself, but for us, since in the name of the whole human race he brings our prayers and religious dispositions to the Eternal Father. He is also a victim, but a victim for us, since he substitutes himself for sinners. Now the exhortation of the apostle, let this mind be in you, which is, was also in Christ Jesus, demands that all Christians should possess, as far as it's humanly possible, the same disposition to those of the divine Redeemer had when he offered himself in sacrifice. That is to say, they should with a humble attitude of mind of adoration, honor, praise, and thanksgiving to the supreme majesty of God. Moreover, 
It demands that they must assume in some way the condition of a victim, that they deny themselves as the gospel commands, that freely and of their own accord they do penance, and that each detests and makes satisfaction for his sins. It demands in a word that we must all undergo with Christ a mystical death, a mystical death on the cross, so that we can apply to ourselves the words of St. Paul, I have been crucified with Christ. This was written by Pope Pius XII, the mediator of God. So we remind ourselves of this feast, Christ the High Priest. And we pray that our priests of today will do their utmost to be true to the word of God, to the gospel, and to what we've just read out. And in so doing, we can bring the church closer and closer to Christ himself. So we stand now, please, for our prayers. The example set before us by Christ is set as we take up our daily tasks and occupations. Let us pray with heart, therefore, and firm in trust. We pray for Alicia Tanglo celebrates her birthday today, who will, for whom we're offering the Mass. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all priests, especially for our bishops everywhere. We pray, of course, for our own bishop, Bishop Allen, that he and they may attend the flock entrusted to them with care, courage, and perseverance. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all who work in parishes, priests, assistants, and co-workers, that they may be agents of the Holy Spirit who leads the people of God into unity. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for priests and rel religious who engage in the work of Christ in difficult and trying situations, that their courage may not fail them in their hours of trial. May Christ, the good pastor, be their inspiration and joy. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, too, for vocation to the priesthood. May the Lord call into his harvest young men who will speak to the people of our time with insight and conviction. Lord, in your mercy. <clears throat> And we pray for harmony among all who work for Christ. May petty factions not enter into their work for the kingdom of love. Lord, in your mercy. We pray too for our young people as they continue their major examinations at this time, that the Holy Spirit will help and guide them. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all our sick. We pray especially for Brian Joseph, who's been taken into hospital, seriously ill. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray for all who have asked us to keep them in our prayers. Lord, in your mercy. 
We ask Mary, our mother, now to join with us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. <coughs> Lord God, may the lives of your holy ones inspire us to great endeavor in the service of your people. May our lives be abundant in good works through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit to the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we accept this sacrifice at your altar, O Lord. Lord, wash away our nukes and cleanse us all. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the Christ and glory of His name. Lord, may our mediator, Jesus Christ, render these gifts acceptable to you, and may He present us as sacrifices pleasing to you in union with Him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by the anointing of the Holy Spirit you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant, and by your wondrous design, we're pleased to decree that as one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred mystery, ministry through the laying of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, 
you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and to recognize the sacrificial victim, by whose death he will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Michael, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, you pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. The Savior's command, upon by divine teaching, we pray. Our 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace that grants peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only speak the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion for those who've joined us online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive you into our souls. And since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. And behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank you all very much, and have a nice day.